Morning. We're going to tie a uh, summer steelhead fly that is uh, in Deck Hogan's Passion for Steelhead book. Um, it's just a standard summer fly. Great for the Deschutes. Actually great for any river. It's purples and pinks and whites and um, here we go. We're going to start out by tying in a little silver flat mylar tinsel. I tie it in at, the, you know, when, you're, when your line's hanging down here, your uh, tying thread, it's about at the point tie that in. I'm going to wrap that back for my tag, but I'm going to bring it up a little further because this has a pink bud on it of floss, and I want that silver tinsel underneath that uh, floss to really make it pop. So I bring that up, tie it off, then I take my pink floss here, Single strand or what is it? Well, it's four strand, and you can go single or um, or two strand when you're tying it in. I prefer single because I can control the wrap a little better. So I'm just going to bring that. The problem is this: this stuff is, you know, fairly fragile. If your hands are rough, you really want to be careful with it. Wrap that over and bring it back up. That silver tinsel underneath there really makes it shine. So I've got that on there. Now I'm going to take some fluorescent pink um, golden pheasant tippet. And how I tie the tails on these is I pull down my fibers a little bit so I get the amount of tail I want. And then I just cut the V out. Pull it back and you have a nice, nice tail. So you cut the center of the feather out. Yeah, okay. yeah, just cut the center out. And then you get a, a little sparser tail that'll actually move. It just turn, doesn't turn into a solid, horrible post. Next we're going to use some pearl flat mylar tinsel for the ribbing. that in, bring my thread up. Material clips are awesome to have on your vise if you don't have one and you're fighting your materials all the time. These sprinklers, there's lots of different styles out there but I highly recommend them. I'm going to use some purple STS dubbing. This stuff is incredible. If you uh, have a pattern that calls for seal fur, let's grab some of this. It's, I personally think it's better than seal. It's got more sheen pretty buggy. If you want the shorter style like Seal has to it, just pull out your fibers, cut it a little shorter. Let's see if we got enough here. Not a great big body. This is a summer fly, so you want to keep everything fairly slender and sparse. I'm going to bring my rib up through it. Leave a little space up here because we're going to put two hackles. I'm going to use some purple dyed saddle. Tying the tip in first, and collar style. So I'm going to want those fibers standing out. I'm going to pull them back as I wrap. I tend to, it's kind of a bad habit of mine to tie my hackles a little long. Everybody has their style, and unfortunately this has become mine. Normally this would be a little shorter hackle for mine almost end up looking a little spayish almost because of the length of the hackle. And then I had a teal feather laying here ready to go. Did. Well, we'll grab another one and show you how to prep it. You want to get your uh, teal about the same length as your um, 
hackle that you tied the first hackle with. So you'll kind of hold it there and get the length. I'm going to strip the short stuff here down by the fluff. And this is a fairly sparse hackle. You don't want to obscure your purple completely. So you just pull it and straighten it out. Cut the center out. Tie that in. Pull this back. And you really only need about really one, one and a half wraps. Just enough to to uh, secure that in there would be a good idea. Try that again. There we go. See, it's kind of going every which way. And we'll fix that. That's no problem. brush it back the stuff lays down pretty nicely so now you've got that on there a little white arctic fox wing and we are in business I try to keep this wing a little sparse get the length I want finish on her. I want to talk a little bit about getting these glossy coated heads that everybody's fighting to get on steelhead flies. I usually take my standard um, Griff's Thin and I coat that head real well and let it dry. Then I come back in with this uh, hard as whole head cement. This stuff works really well. One coat usually will give you a fairly good um, glossy head two coats definitely will do it. The th reason I use the grips first is because it penetrates the threads real well and uh, keeps this from penetrating. That thin stuff really goes in. So try that for a really glossy head on your fly.